Previously on Greenhouse Big Brother. This next head of household competition is called Chain Reaction. Bruno, you have yep. been selected oh. by Dylan. No. Yep. You have two minutes to decide oh. between Jewel and Sage. Whoever you do not pick will be the HOH, okay? Please make your selection. Sage. So that means Jewel, you are the head of household for this round. All right, who is your first nominee? Fine. Who is your second nominee? Ryan. This veto competition is called Video Game Word Search. The winner of the power of veto, Dylan, with a score of 12. Ooh. Wow. Jewel and Chuby both had... What, what have you chosen to do? I'm gonna veto fives. Jewel, please name your replacement nominee. Uh, Nemes. Anything you can say to me so that I can that can soothe my ego or soothe my oh. trust because of that. Because I feel like he that I was can such tell a dumb you. move. All I'm all I'm saying <laughs> is, is is we see how Sage plays Mafia. She's a snake, bro. Whoa! Oh, God, that was bad. I genuinely did not know he thought that of me. By a vote of six to one, Ryan, you have been evicted from Big Brother Greenhouse Edition. But Ryan, there is a twist. You will receive a special power. Can you head to the kitchen? Hey, Ryan. Hi. So, I'm sorry you've been evicted, but you do have one responsibility that uh, we need from you. What's that? So this twist is called the undead HOH. There is not going to be an HOH in this upcoming round. You are the HOH, even though you have been eliminated from the game. Okay. So how this is going to work, you are going to choose the two nominees. Okay. You are going to give me two backups, one first choice and one second choice, if there is a, a veto use. Okay? Okay. So, uh, yeah, you're going to be the HOH. Please tell me your first real nominee. Goofy. All right, your second nominee. Sage. All right, and your backup in case the veto is used. Um, Dylan. All right, and your second backup in case they win the veto. Nibs. You got a lot of power here, dude. Are they, are they gonna know this? Yep. Dang. All right, you have not made the jury, but you can check out the stream. I love you, bro. Appreciate you. All right, guys, we have made it to round number four. You have all made the jury. Congratulations. Seven of you will determine who wins. So you guys want to know what, po what power Ryan received or no? Yes. So this is going to be our first major twist of the game. Fuck, I knew it. And this twist is called the Undead HOH. So in this round, there is going to be no HOH. Despite being voted out right before the jury, Ryan has been given the power and he is the undead HOH. What this means is no one will be safe this, this round. Ryan has chosen two nominees for eviction. Which are? I'll, let you, I'll get to that. <laughs> Ryan has chosen two nominees. He has also chosen two backups in order in case the veto is used or won by one of the backups. This will determine who are the nominees. You guys want to know who's nominated or no? Yeah. All right. The first person that Ryan chose to nominate is Goofy Wise. Goofy, you are nominated. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> okay. All right. And the second person that Ryan has chosen is Sage. Sage, you have been nominated. Mm. Okay. Ryan chose Sage. Wow. Because this is a little crazy and we haven't had time to discuss nominees or who you guys are going to nominate. You guys are going to have eight minutes of group discussion. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh. Right. Yeah, five no, five no, five five room number two? Yeah. Collaborating tribe room number two. I know. I was going to say, wait, they should be in the big room with all of us so we can talk. 
Um, but I don't want to put it in a position where I'm, we're losing you because I want you to go late, late, late game. You know what I mean? So. Well, what I'm saying is one a, of us is going to get vetoed. How many alliances do you have? Yeah, I got Nims, Five, Solid. Chrono. That's it. Nims, okay. Five, Chrono. If Sage or Goofy were to win and a new person walks in and maybe it would be one of us. Let yeah. me suggest that we all still vote for either Sage or Goofy. I'm never like, yeah, this is the strat, guys. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> do this person, we're gonna do this thing. I'm like, I'm chilling, bro. bro. Like, I don't, I don't like, uh, I've never liked clicks in okay. school or anything like right, that. So right, I'm never, like, that's why I don't make alliances. We wouldn't have the numbers though if one of us was the replacement. So like, we just five this girl. year. Yeah, so, yes. oh, it would only be four votes. Yeah, we would have to have one because, other person. Or, because the person who, who the backup's not going to be able to vote. What is your... We, that's the thing we're saying. We don't even know. Perfect. Right, right. I want to do in here. We're both, trust each other, yes. we're both in an alliance. And both of y'all are with us. No, yeah, for real. That's what... It, that's what we were discussing. No, but you that's what, what I'm mean? saying. If you get like your free pick of a vote, because you know you got me on your side, so we can get this. I get the veto in there. Know like, that, God. like, I got y'all too. Like, this yes. isn't just a please save me in this moment, you know? All right, you guys ready to select the players for the veto? There will only be five players in this veto, okay? Dylan, you have been selected. All right, this is Goofy Spin, okay? Goofy Spin. Chrono, you have been selected. All right, and this is Sage's spin. Chubby, you have been selected. Are you guys ready for our veto competition? Yes, sir. You know, some of you guys are going to make it to the end, and uh, some of you may uh, get, to hear, get to hear from the jury. But in Big Brother, some people we don't get to hear from often are the pre-jury. So this veto competition is called the pre-jury speaks. As big yeah, cookies and Ryan were eliminated, I sent them two questions each, the same questions. I'm gonna ask you six questions, depending on the three pre-jurors. You will have, like the first competition, a one or a two ready on your finger, off screen. And when I ask you to reveal, you reveal your answer. Whoever has the most points at the end wins our first question we're gonna go through big's questions first our first question big was asked to sum the uh, sum up the experience in one sentence option one did big say i laughed so much in my short time here i saw myself getting for getting voted out first to be honest option one i laughed so much in the short time i was here I saw myself getting voted out first, to be honest. Or option two. I had a blast in the short time I was here, but I really saw myself winning the whole thing, so I'm pissed. Have your one or two ready? The correct answer is one. Everyone's gonna receive a point except for Dylan, okay? Question two. Big was asked, who do you want to win the game? Did he say option one? Nims or option two, Sage and reveal. All right, the correct answer is one, Nims. Everyone got it right except for Chuby. Question three, we're moving on to cookies. Did cookies say when asked to sum up the experience in one sentence? Option one, well, I wish I could have lasted longer, but it was fun for the two rounds I got in. Or option two, well, I wish it could have lasted longer, I'm pretty bummed. Reveal? The correct answer is one. Chuby, Goofy, and Sage each get a point. All right, Cookies was also asked, who do you want to win the game? Did he say, option one, Chrono. Option two, Ryan. All right, Reveal? He said option one, Chrono. So <laughs> Chrono and Dylan receive a point. All right, moving on to Ryan. Ryan was asked to sum up the experience in one sentence. Did he say, option one, it was fun. Or option two, 
It was sick. <laughs> All right, please reveal your answers. Uh, Ryan said it was fun. So Chuby is the only one to get it correct. Ryan was asked, who do you want to win the game? Did he say Chuby? Or did he say Samantha? All right, it revealed. The correct answer is Chuby. So Chuby, Sage, and Dylan get a point. So that means after all six questions, we have a tie between Sage and Chuby. We have a tiebreaker. For your answer, I'm looking for the closest answer without going over the number, okay? Without going over. So if you're one under and the other person's one above, the person under will win. You're gonna type it in the competition chat, but please do not type it until I say go. Okay, the tiebreaker. How many total votes were cast in the three opening rounds? Total votes. How many total votes were cast in the three opening rounds. It's gonna be the closest without going over. Three, two, one, go. Oh, All right, the oh. correct answer is 24. Congratulations, Chuby, you have won the power of veto. We are gonna have five minutes before the veto ceremony, okay? So Sage, as well as Goofy Wise, are still the two nominated people on the chopping block. If Chuby goes ahead and uses their okay. veto power to veto one of them, whomever Ryan set aside as a replacement for either person will then step in their place. Right. They could be anybody. Chibi. Can I talk to you in a private room? Yeah, actually, can we talk with Chuby? For sure. Uh, Chuby, do you want to go? Let's go back. Can we leave my living room? Yeah, I, I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to use it, but I yeah. think I might I might use it. Yeah, okay. that's why I well, wanted to pull you. I wanted to tell you, well, yes, this is an important one to use. Yeah. yeah. I hope I hope it's me, but regardless, I think whoever is going in there, whoever gets put in there is probably going to get voted out because I don't think it's going to be me or Sage, essentially. So as long as you're going to use it, you know what I'm saying? We can. We, I think we can muster the votes to get the other person saved. Essentially, assuming that you vote with us. Essentially, assuming you don't vote for me or Sage, is, <laughs> is, is, is that something you can do? Is that can you? Are you going to not vote for us? I just want to know. I mean, you use the veto for one of us already, so like you know, I'm I can definitely using the veto. I can't probably okay, promise so, I mean, on the vote. All right, guys, this is the veto ceremony. Goofy and Sage have been nominated for eviction, and Chuby, you have won the power of veto. You have the power to remove one of the nominees. And then one of Ryan's backups will become the replacement nom nominee as part of the undead HOH twist. Chuby, have you come to a decision if you're gonna use the veto or not? And I will. Oh, all right. Who will you be using the veto on? Goofy. All right, Goofy, you are not nominated anymore. Ryan has selected a backup to go on the block. And that backup is Dylan. Dylan, you are nominated. So, the two final nominees for the round are Dylan and Sage. We're going to have five minutes of discussion time for the vote. And that is starting now. Kronos, can I talk to you in private room one? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dylan, out of it! He's too sneaky. He's, He's too sneaky. sneaky as fuck. He's smart as fuck. We gotta get him out of here. There's no other yeah. way. Nims, you know, I feel like I got you. Got me. Yeah. I yeah. I just want to know like what your thought process is. Like, well, oh. in the in the original group that I was in, they yeah. were about five or six of us. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, if if we're keeping true, I mean, that's still enough people. But now he's up on the chopping block, so like that's where I'm letting that's you know it, his head he, is that stage. Because that, he thought Ryan would vote for him. He knew he knew that Ryan would vote for him, so he tried to protect his ass and try to set up some shit earlier on, which is understandable. You know what I'm saying? He's a smart player. You know what I'm saying? To be expected. Mm -hmm. But you know. Yeah. So let's we, talk about this. Let's talk about this. All right, I saw y'all scheming over here. No, right. no scheming. So, I'm, gonna uh, you, I'm gonna tell you straight up, bro. So, so straight up. Threat, threat level. I'm more afraid of you than I am Sage, and I'm just gonna put that on the table. Okay. A hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Now, so. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. This same threat level is gonna carry on round after round, and if I'm voted off, 
Who gets the next threat level? Probably you. Me? You think I get the threat level? Maybe someone else? I just know oh. who I trust, who I have the trust of, and that's all I'm really banking on. So, okay. Just see what happens. And I'm really sorry that it came down to us, Dylan. Yeah. Like, it is what it is. How harder is it going to be to get them off once it's later on? And here's like, the thing. Do you, do, you, do you think if you go to, like, like the end, do you think he has more of an advantage than you? That's how you have to vote. Round, I think he's tricky enough to be dangerous. All right, guys. We have come to the voting period. Dylan and Sage are nominated for eviction. You are both going to have 30 seconds to give final pleas as to why you should stay in the game. Sage. You're up first. You're gonna have 30 seconds. Um, listen, I know I've been helpful to my people, um, and I know my people got my back. I have no doubt about it. Um, so I, whatever happens, happens. Um, I just know my people know that I got them, and so I trust that they have me. Dylan, you're gonna have 30 seconds to give one final plea as to why you should stay in the game. Well, if I supposedly have a target on my back, and if I get eliminated, that creates chaos, and now who steps into my place? It leaves it as a free-for-all. If Sage has alliances and Sage will be voted off, then you form new alliances that is a, as it is a round-to-round -round dilemma. Before this started, there were six of us or five of us, and we had numbers to vote off either Goofy or Sage. I say we keep with it and carry on. All right, time is up. All right. I'm gonna pull you guys in one by one. Everyone, please stay muted in the in the living room, okay? It please cast your vote to evict. That fucking snake Dylan out of here. Get him the fuck out of here. I want him gone. Dylan. Sage. Dylan. I'm gonna go with Dylan. Sage. Sage. All right, guys, the votes are in. And by a vote. Of four to three. Sage, you are safe. Dylan, you have been unfortunately evicted. Next time on Greenhouse Big Brother. Before we get to our discussion time, I have another twist. Welcome to our first, and maybe only, we'll see, double eviction. So in this round, two people are going to be evicted.